Hi, welcome to Power Driven Diesel. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to use our timing kit to time your P pump Cummins truck. Um, oftentimes, you have to buy a dial indicator, it's quite an involved process. Uh, we've come up with a much quicker way to uh, time your engine. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Um, first thing you got to do, well, obviously, this, this is our engine here is kind of wide open so you can really see what's going on. You won't have this much access in your truck, but you can easily do this in your truck and I do it all the time. First thing you gotta do is remove your oil fill tube. Uh, there's a little bolt right here. You take that out and then you can loosen this up, move that guy around and spin this guy. Before you take it out, I hit it over like this and then I take this guy out. And after that's out, finish spinning this thing out. And this is gonna give you access to your pump gear, which is what we're gonna mess around with. So that's first step. Okay, next thing we need to do is uh, verify the timing of our particular truck. If your pump has never been off the truck, it'll be at stock timing. And that's found on the data plate right here. This truck's data plate is missing, but here's a data plate on another vehicle. So this plate shows you right here, it says timing 14 degrees. And so the, this truck's timing is at 14 degrees. Um, what we need to do now, and go to top dead center and verify if the pump is still at stock timing. And so right now I'll show you how to get to top dead center. Okay, now that we know what our uh, stock timing is with our data plate, uh, we need to get our engine to top dead center. I wanted to show you that, guys this. This is the cam engagement plug. Really easy to see with the uh, pump off. I wanted to show you so you know what it is. You can reach this over or underneath your pump uh, and push this. So what you do is you got to push this against the camshaft. Right now it's pushed against there. And then you have the buddy rotate the motor until it gets to top dead center. I'm going to keep pressure on this. We're going to rotate this piston up. And it's going to engage. Okay, right there it just engaged. The motor is now at top dead center. So right now your pump should be pinned like we talked about and uh, we can adjust it from here. Make sure once this is top dead center, pull this guy back out. You don't want this guy hanging out and messing stuff up. So pull it out and now you're at top dead center. We can continue on with the timing procedure. Okay, so now that the motor's at top dead center, we want to verify the pump is at stock timing. This is a little bolt cover here. You take this guy off. This is a 24 millimeter uh, nut, and I've already loosened it, so I'm going to take it off. When you take this off, be prepared. A bunch of oil is going to come pouring out of this guy. This pump's empty, but a bunch of oil is going to come out, so just be ready for that. Underneath this cap is a, a tool that's in the pump permanently, so you can make sure it's at right timing. It's, I'll pull out and show that to you. Okay, let me clean this off a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about here. This is a little tool. You see on the end here, this is only for when you're timing the pump. This goes in first. When you're done, pull it out and make sure the metal end is in first when you put it back together. The metal end goes in first and then you put the cap back on. So I'm going to show you what this thing uh, does on a different pump so you can easily see what it, what it engages. Okay, so we're going to show you uh, the, the pin, the timing pin inside the pump. We've got that cover off so you have access to the timing pin. And um, I'm going to show you what it looks like here so you can uh, see it on your truck. You're most likely have to use a mirror to see this, but at least now you know what you're looking for. So I'm going to rotate this engine, and I'm pretty close right now, but I'm gonna, you're going to see this little uh, arm come down into view, and that's going to be the pin. Okay, so what you gotta do is when that is in the center, that little piece of I showed you earlier, this guy right here, will slide over that. So you gotta get it just right. If you're not perfectly centered, like right now I'm not perfectly centered, I cannot get it on there. So I have to go either up or down and um, to get it on there. Move a little bit. I usually put it in sideways, up and down with the, the end here. I rotate. There it goes. It fell. As I rotated it, it fell right on. And so now we're now we're now we're timed. So now this pump, uh, if this is a stock pump on that on a 14 degree data plate truck, it's a, it's a 14 degrees when the engine is top dead center. Okay, we have uh, the pump is now pinned. We know it's at 14 degrees before top dead center is this pump's timing from the data plate. The engine is at top dead center and the pump pin thing is aligned back there so we know it's in time for 14 degrees. 
uh, before top dead center. We want to advance it. We're going to do that by retarding the engine so it's going to fire earlier in relation to the engine. What we need to do now is adjust the timing of the pump relative to the engine. First thing we got to do is uh, pull this gear off the pump so we can rotate the engine without rotating the pump. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off uh, this nut here and then we're going to use this little piece here that comes in your kit to uh, pull the gear off. So first thing here is just get that nut out of the way. This is a 30 millimeter, um, just so you know, 30 millimeters for this for this nut. Um, if you have an engine barring tool or something like that to hold the motor in time, that'd be great. Uh, but just here we go. Now this has not been torqued to spec, so it came off easy. But again, for you, you're going to want to have something, especially if your pin is still in there. You don't want to rotate it with your pin in there because it will shear off that plastic piece. So have your buddy uh, holding the engine somehow when you torque this so it doesn't sp spin the crank and thereby ruin your pin. It's a bad day when you break that little plastic piece off in your pump. Okay, I like to, uh, I don't want to drop this nut clear down the thing, so I like to get a little screwdriver, pocket screwdriver or something small, and put this hole here. When I spin this guy off, it's not going to drop down my gear cover. Pull this off. Same thing for the washer. Pull this guy out of here. Sometimes a little magnet's helpful. Maybe I'll my screwdriver. This guy's got a little magnet here. Oh, you didn't see that. So anyway, so I use this guy. Pull it off. I just, you just hate to drop stuff down. All right, I'm just gonna. You get the idea. Run it more easy here. Okay. The, the nut is off. Now we're going to use a puller here and pop this gear off of this thing. There's two little holes on either side of this. You just have to kind of fish around and find them on that gear. On a truck with a radiator in place, you have to do this by hand with a little wrench. Can't get a little impact in there. But for me, I can just use this. Okay, this is going to take a lot of force to get this thing to pop off. If you've ever not, never done it before, you're probably going to start worrying as hard as you're turning on this. It'll come off. This is going to come off easy because it's not torqued to spec. I just want to... You'll hear a loud pop when it finally releases. Okay, that now it's released. So the gear is pulled. Now you can take the puller off. Now, I'm just going to grab one of these bolts out of the puller here to verify. Yes, you can see that I can pull that now. It's now off. Okay, so now when we turn the motor, it is not going to turn the pump. It is now free from the engine. Now we move on to our next step. Okay, now that our uh, pump gear has been removed, uh, the pump cam is no longer mechanically connected to the crankshaft, so we can adjust our crank angle. It will, not, it will not move the pump cam. So this pump, as we know, is timed at 14 degrees from the factory. We want to set this engine at 22 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 8 degrees to the factory timing. We're going to do that using this degree wheel here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to position this over here. Well, first I have this little wire here. I've attached this wire to this 10 millimeter bolt here on the uh, gear case. And so I want to set this to the top dead center on my degree wheel. Okay. Now that this is the top dead center, all I have to do is add 8 degrees. And the way I'm going to do that is by spinning the engine counterclockwise or retarding the engine. So that as I'm looking at the engine from the radiator, 
I want this guy to spin counterclockwise. That's going to retard the engine, thereby advancing the timing. And so what I'm going to do now is I have a guy, a friend back there, who's going to uh, rotate the motor over for me. So go ahead and start rotating that. We're going to rotate it to go the other direction. Yeah, just keep going. you got to figure out good ways to go. Keep going. Keep going. You're about halfway there. A little more. Okay, stop. Okay. On the degree wall, as you can see, I'm now about 11 degrees, well, a little over 10 degrees. I do that because now I want to go back the other way to uh, take out any gear lash so we can get an accurate timing. So go ahead and swap the direction and go back until I tell you to stop. One, one more. And s a little more. Stop. Okay, we are now 8 degrees this direction of zero, so the, the crank had to move counter uh, clockwise in order for this to happen. So now we are at 14 degrees with the stock pump timing. We've added 8 degrees here, so this engine is now at 22 degrees. All right, so our first step in reassembly, we've already got our timing set. Uh, this pump gear is held on the shaft by friction, so I like to make sure it's good and clean. I don't want any oil in there because you don't want your timing to slip. Uh, there's nothing to hold it mechanically, it's just friction. So I put this bolt in here. And I like to use a starting fluid ether. It's a lot more powerful than like a brake cleaner or something that gets oil out real fast. I get this in here, I pull the gear out in here and I, and I spray as good as I can. It's kind of hard in your fans here, you kind of have to do it with your thumb. You spray in, just like jiggle it around, just hold her down. Man. All the oil you can. Let all the oil come out of there. That way it's going to stick really well, hopefully. Uh, if it doesn't, your timing might slip, which is not good. And so get it good and clean, and put it back on there, and then you're ready to put the nut on. Okay, uh, reassemble or reapplication of your washer and nuts the same way. I like to put it on the little screwdriver here. Oh, there, there we are. And that way I don't dump it down the gear cover. This is a new trick washer we're trying out. Let you know how the results go shortly. Uh, same thing with uh, the nut. Put that in the thing there. I get it started before I take off the thing. I've never dropped one down and I really don't want to. Okay. So now at this point, you should have your pump still pinned with that plastic little thing holding it in timing. You don't want to torque the nut with that in there, but you do want to get it a little snug so the gear is going to be attached to the shaft, but when you torque it, you don't need to. I have actually broken one of those before and it does suck. You don't want to do that. So now I'm just a little bit snug here. Okay, so it's going to grab the gear now. Now I'm going to reach over that thing and pull that little piece out. Now that it's out, I'm going to torque this. The torque spec, the factory spec, is 144 on this nut. A lot of guys on the internet want to go to 160, uh, but the, the actual factory spec is 144. Turn this guy on here. There you go. There we go. She's torqued. And now that, that thing is, make sure, sorry to put this thing back in, not the plastic side in, it's too long. Make sure you get the metal side, the short side goes in. And it remains there, that's where it stays. And you put back on this uh, large cap here. Get it good and tight. I'm sure there's a torque spec somewhere. I don't know what it is. If you get it too tight, you may strip it. If you don't get it tight enough, it's going to fall out. So just, you know, do it just right. Okay, uh, last thing now, just put in your oil fill tube back on. Um, and then you'll be ready to fire this thing up. Um, also, it would be a good idea to take your degree wheel off of your uh, dampener.
don't know how many RPM we can withstand. Never tested that one. If you find out, let me know. Put that guy back on. Take off his thing. Now this guy here, on my personal truck, I just leave it. I've been out of the way, and it's been there for 20,000 miles. Um, I have an adjustable gear on my truck, so I can change my timing without um, without having to pop the gear off, which is nice. And so with this, this is how I designed, came up with this method. I want to change my timing quickly, and so I just started using uh, one of these, and it works real well. So um, you can take the wire off or leave it. I don't care. But now you're done, man. You're ready to go. You're, this timing is now set at 22 degrees. Uh, we didn't use any dial indicator or anything like that. Uh, the video took a, mi a minute, but honestly, you could probably do this in about you know, pretty dang quick, really. Okay, so that was the proper method on how to time your engine. There's also a really quick, dirty, cheap, faster way for those who are not overly concerned about every one degree. Uh, you'll see here I marked my pump shaft with a paint pen. Um, you really don't have to find top dead center to, to time your engine with this with this method. Uh, if you know, like for instance, your truck is bone stock, no one's ever touched it, uh, your timing is set at whatever came from the factory, this is 14 degrees. And so really all we have to do is disconnect the pump shaft from the engine, you know, retard the engine 8 degrees, put it back on, and we're at 22 degrees. That's all you got to do. So, you know, if this was just a running engine, I'd bring it in here, I'd mark this, I'd pop the gear. If the gear mo if the shaft moved substantially, then I'd put the gear back on and go through my last procedures. I'd pin the pump, find top dead center, and then retard the engine to advance the timing. But if I pop this off and it doesn't move, or doesn't move at all, then I'm simply going to just retard my engine 8 degrees on the, on the wheel here, put the gear back on tight, and I'll be done in 5 minutes. And so with this system, you can really time it really fast uh, that way. So anyway, uh, you know, as always, if you have any questions about this, give us a call here at the shop, 435-962-9555. Uh, go to PowerDrivenDiesel.com. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel so anytime a video comes out, you can get it right away. And when you're done with this, this magnet, slap it on the side of your toolbox. Or you won't lose it and it won't get smashed up and ruined. That's where we keep them here at the shop, the side of our toolboxes. Uh, anyway, thanks, and we'll see you next time.